At Vassar College, SJP members harassed students and faculty planning an educational trip to Israel. They picketed outside. They forced the professor and the students to cross the picket line. It was a really horrible situation. The students in the class were traumatized. The Vassar administration held a campus-wide forum in response to this incident. When pro-Israel students spoke up trying to defend Israel, they were essentially shouted down. They could not believe what had happened. You had hundreds of people packing an auditorium or large classroom who were just profanely anti-Israel and mocking of any Jewish student who stood up to defend Israel. There was no faculty member on campus willing to stand up for Israel. Finally, the Vassar Conservative Libertarian Union invited Professor Jacobson to speak. We had some people at the forum from Students for Justice in Palestine. They were so furious with my pro-Israel speech that they posted on their Twitter account and on their Tumblr account a Nazi cartoon. Not a neo-Nazi cartoon, not something, an actual Nazi, anti-Semitic, anti-American cartoon was tweeted out by them. The Vassar administration not only was silent, but in some ways actually encouraged the anti-Israel atmosphere. SJP members at Florida Atlantic University and NYU also posted mock eviction notices on dormitory doors. So this flyer highlights what SJP is all about, which is spreading lies about the Jewish state and about the Jewish people. To me, the dorm storming is an invasion of student privacy. It is attempting to intimidate students. It is making students feel uncomfortable literally in their bedroom. SJP wants special consideration for its message with their view of the Middle East dispute. And I think universities have to enforce those rules against SJP, just as they would enforce them against anybody else. In November 2012, students occupied Dutton Hall at the University of California in Davis. They were protesting in solidarity with Gaza Several protesters held up signs that read, Death to Zionism. Protest leaders advocated a selective approach toward free speech. You're always asked if you're going to have a pro-Palestinian speaker, you have to have a pro-Israeli speaker there to give us the other side. And nobody asks you, what's the other side to hit? Allowing free speech is allowing free speech of the rich and powerful, right? Civility is the, is the weapon of the oppressor. I just want to let everyone know that these designers over here are going to so I don't know about any of the Yeah. <laughs> Events like these are not welcome on our campus anymore. My only purpose today is that this event is shut down. You have turned Palestine into a land of prostitutes, rapists, and child molesters. SJP rhetoric towards students who don't agree with them is that if you don't agree with them, you're against them, so they have to shut you down. So those promoting free speech have ended up banning speech across our campuses. Let's never forget that it was the students who burned the books in the German universities in the 1930s. It was the students who beat up the Jewish professors and the Jewish students. It was the students who were most deeply involved in the Nazi takeover of academia. The, the playbook used by SJP to fabricate lies against uh, the, the Israeli government and the state of Israel are often these buzzwords such as um, genocide, apartheid, op uh, oppressive, uh, dehumanization.
In pursuit of an agenda to demonize Israel and divide the Jewish community, SJP members, with faculty support, launched a boycott, divestment, and sanctions campaign against Israel. There are academic associations where you can attend BDS sessions all day long. Your entire experience for a couple of days is listening to rallies against Israel that pretend to be academic presentations. It's sold to students, the boycott movement, as a, a peaceful resolution of the conflict, but everything they do is meant to prevent a peaceful resolution. The goal of BDS is to miseducate students to perpetrate a series of lies. It tells students that its goal is to end the occupation. Uh-uh. Its goal is to create a new occupation. And it wants the Jewish uh, people of Israel to be occupied essentially by a majority of Palestinians. And uh, that's the goal, yet they hide that. And they're very deceptive about it. Mellifluous talk of democracy and rights and justice masks the BDS objective that is nothing other than the end of the Jewish state. Most definitely we oppose a Jewish state in any part of Palestine. No Palestinian, rational Palestinian, not a sellout Palestinian, will ever accept a Jewish state in Palestine. Boycotts targeting Jews have a long and ugly history. boycott, divestment, and sanctions movement was formed at the anti-Semitic Durban conference in 2001. This was part of the plan to demonize Israel, to ostracize Israel. The university mission used to emphasize the search for truth. The radicalization of the campus in the 1960s fundamentally altered students' beliefs about moral behavior and created a new theology in the humanities that favors identity narratives over objective truths. I believe that we're living in an era in which the idea of truth, objective truth, has been to a very large extent replaced by ideology. Well, if there's no such thing as truth, then there's no such thing as lies. And consequently, we're living in an era where people can no longer distinguish uh, between uh, truth and lies. We should recognize that the policies of Hamas are more forthcoming uh, and more conducive to a peaceful settlement than those of the United States or Israel. It's very difficult to deal with a blizzard of lies. I mean, because you can always invent some kind of fiction, um, and then that requires enormous efforts to essentially, you know, prove that prove the negative. That in fact did not happen. Once you believe that the only democracy in the Middle East, the only human rights respecting government in the Middle East, the only place where Muslim women are given the rights and the full protection of law is the worst oppressor, then you can believe anything. <laughs>